Gaffer, that was a tough afternoon. Yeah, it wasn't good enough, yeah. Um, didn't start the game well enough. Um, way off it. Second balls and was sloppy. Um, as a team, didn't didn't defend well enough and lost out on too many second balls um, and got punished. Conceded two poor goals from not switching on defensively. And then, then it's back to the wall. Then. Um, but we responded. The lads showed a good reaction once we made the subs. Um, got back into the game. Half time, said it's the lay for us. Felt that we create more chances, which we did. But evidently, again, second half we conceded poor goals. And once you give up big opportunities, as many as we did to a team like Peterborough, who have got really good four players, then it's not on down for you. It did feel, didn't it, at 2 0, at 3 1, and at 4 2, that we were not out of it. There was lots of chances being created. As you said, there was that reaction there. It was always, always just having to come back from that too far behind. And then when the fifth one went in, that probably killed it. Yeah, I think that kind of expected when we spoke about the game and what to be you not know, expected to go. We knew that that's what happens here because the half hour they play, they leave four up, up front, which means that you have opportunities to, um, to break on them. And, and if, if you're any good and you, you look after the ball and you show some quality, you create chances, which we did create a few chances, we just didn't take enough of them. But also, the way they leave their players at the top end of the pitch, you've got to, got to defend 1v1 and you've got to, you've got to make sure you, are, you make good decisions and you've got to be make sure that you're in, you defend it with intensity um, all over the pitch. And, and if you don't do that and you switch off, then you get, you get punished. So we got punished five times, few of them were, were mistakes, um, and yet we come out of it with nothing. I suppose it's in a bit of an inevitability, isn't it, when you are throwing bodies forward to try and get those chances, whoever you're playing, and particularly against Peterborough, that's what ends up happening. Yeah, and that's why we're always going to be. We're not going to stand there and you know, go defensive and try and do damage limitation. No, we want to try and get back into the game. So, because if I say felt there was going to be chances there for us, the lads, to be fair, kept going. I'm not not having a go at their effort or or whatever. You know, they, they give us everything that they had today, but just certain aspects of the game we've just got to do better it's just even the fourth goal is a, it's a poor giveaway of in, in the middle of midfield for us it's an easy pass that we should complete and we don't and then because the game's open they slide in and, and score and it's just too easy so disappointing afternoon but it's something we're going to have to learn from um, I say but there's one or two performances today that weren't quite at the standard of what we've, we've been playing at throughout this whole season and once we fall below the standard then that's what happens I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything because obviously everyone can see what the, the scoreline is today. But if you go over the whole season, it's only defeat number five out of 33. It's not many, is it? And I thought it showed at the end the fans' reaction was still positive, still clapping everyone, singing your name. They're, they're still with us. Absolutely, and so they should be. And because so they've seen that the lads put the effort in again today, we just just didn't play well enough on both sides of the ball. But but yeah, it's not. I'm not going to overreact. Um, we've won, we've still took seven points out the last four games. One point here would have made it the same, the, the right points total that we need, points per game to get promoted, and we just felt one short. But we've had four tough games, we've got another tough one next week now at Charlton, so we're going to have to have, um, get to have a reaction from that and, and make sure that we do the basics right. It just felt as a whole team today just didn't do the basics right, and and yeah, and unfortunately we've come up, haven't come away with anything from the game, but I say won't dwell on it too much, won't overreact because. This squad have shown throughout the season that um, whenever we have a poor performance or a poor result, we tend to get a reaction. So hopefully we get that up next week. Let's just finish on that with about next week, two big games, Charlton and Derby. Obviously, I guess in some ways you'd like to play Tuesday to kind of get this out of your brain. But on the other hand, also you've got a week to get yourself collected and get some strength back in the legs again. Definitely don't want to play Tuesday. No, it's been five games in 14 days, so that takes a lot out of everyone. I know we've made changes and tried to freshen it up, but I think mentally. Um, maybe not physically, mentally it's took its toll. Um, Tuesday night was obviously a big night, and, and today we just didn't start the game well enough. Like we did speak about it, and we tried to try and address that. But sometimes in football that happens. So no, definitely don't want to play Tuesday. We'll recover and um, give the lads a day off to, on Monday because they need an extra day, and we'll get back to work Tuesday um, and prepare for Charlton. Just say try and get a good result there, and then another big one after that.